Hey, my fellow boy men male bros, it's me, Logic King 69 with another video about manly issues and boy man dude guy analysis. As a certified Y chromosome having male, with so much testosterone that I could kill a family of elephants, I've done some deep, deep study into my fellow men, probing dozens, maybe even hundreds of men, just trying to figure out what is deep inside of them. I'm talking, of course, about the archetypical theory of masculinity. We've all heard of alpha males and beta males and the rise of the sigma male, but what other male types are there? Well, fear not. The ancient Greeks, manly, strong, and erogenous as they were, identified 24 male varieties and named them after one of the letters in their famous alphabet. And when have the Greeks been wrong about anything? So I, right now in this internet video, will list every male type and their associated traits to help you, the male viewer, identify which male type you are. Note, women are not allowed to watch this video. This video contains dude rays and bro radiation. I repeat, females, please stay out. If you watch this video, you will become male. With that out of the way, let's get this train started. Number one, alpha males. Alpha males are, of course, the top of the male hierarchy, a real thing that actually exists. Years of scientific studies that I'm sure are somewhere out there have proven that alpha males have a certain inborn and learned set of traits that make it okay for them to be huge jerks to women but still get laid. Traits of the alpha male include a strong defined jawline, a firm handshake, leadership skills, sumptuous deep voices, broad hands, strong yet supple pectorals that are perfect for laying your head on, powerful arms that make you feel safe and secure, and of course, huge throbbing, oh, sorry, I dropped my notes. Where was I? Huge throbbing brains. If you see an alpha male in public, make sure to press your forehead onto the pavement and kiss his sneakers. Number two, beta males. We've all met a beta male in our lives, men who just don't have the confidence of their alpha brethren. These are men who stammer and avoid eye contact, who aren't sure of themselves, and who project their insecurities onto others. Think of Jerry from Rick and Morty, or Morty from Rick and Morty. Traits of the beta male include cowardice, fear, terror, emotions, a weak jaw, body fat, small hands, an interest in video games, but like, only if that interest isn't serious, like if they're not a Twitch streamer or like a pro or something. If you see a beta male in public, you are legally allowed to slap their ass one time with no legal repercussions. Number three, gamma males. Gamma males are one of the new male types. You've probably seen this type of man in your office or at work. He's completely spineless, yet lacks a concept of his bottom-feeding place in the world. This is due to lacking a primary feature of a beta male, known as the shame gland, that makes betas appropriately miserable about their secondary place in society at all times. Traits of the gamma male include browsing Reddit, browsing something awful, knowing what a neat is, an arts degree, a round, horrible face, glasses, but not cool-looking ones. Gamma males have often come from wealth, so they can bypass the usual involuntary celibacy that all betas endure by having shitloads of cash to bribe fickle women into dating them. Number 4. Delta Males Delta males are a newly identified type of male who have existed for years. They synthesize the traits of the alpha and beta together. They often look good and have great prospects for both women and finance, which are, of course, the only two things that matter, but they still willingly revoke their alpha status in favor of what is scientifically referred to as simping. Delta male traits include texting, using the phrase, if I were there, what would you do? Offering to pay for dinner, 
having a secondary Twitter account to retweet porn from, getting ignored on Tinder in spite of being hot. Delta males form the primary income pool for fin-dom women online. It's likely this male type was formed due to the excessive number of alphas proliferating in colleges and frats. Number 5. Epsilon Males Epsilon males are another special male type. Instead of a normal distribution of testosterone, all of their man juice went straight to their brains, making them short in stature yet towering in intellect. Think Ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson. Epsilon male traits include debate, government work, getting angry online, crying as a strategy, guilt, chemical dependency, all meat diets, and of course, falling for cults. Epsilon males, while pests, contribute an important part of society, creating the talking points that we can later repeat to look smart without having to research anything whatsoever. Number 6. Zeta Males Zeta males are beta males with no testosterone whatsoever. Due to lacking any and all boy sauce, they are forced into a horrid, decrepit life of emulating feminine traits, the most shameful thing to do as a man. Zeta male traits include self-identifying as femboys, arguing online if trap is a slur, watching anime marketed to women and internalizing that as a personality trait, having anime girl avatars and profile pictures, being pedophiles. Zeta males can be found online, but most of their Twitters are either private or have been deleted due to TOS infractions, so researching them is quite difficult. Number 7. Ada Males Imagine a butch lesbian in a man's body. That is an Ada male. They're known as wife guys. It's a well-known fact that men, deep down, despise women, and marriage for all men is terrible and a curse. But that's not so for Ada males. Ada male traits include not reposting hilarious I hate my wife memes on Facebook, saying the phrase I love you outside of the bedroom, wanting a family, loving their children, defending their wives online no matter how irrationally their wives are acting, carrying groceries and other bags, and driving a minivan. Ada males, while largely pathetic, have the best grills and raise the hottest daughters. Number 8. Theta Males Go to the local Facebook Libertarian group and you're sure to find a Theta Male or three. Theta Males, while possessing ambition and drive, like Alphas, completely fail to steer their lives in any meaningful manner. Theta Male traits include having startups that fail repeatedly, having long hair, smelling strangely, arguing about the age of consent, blaming labor laws for the failure of their business, using their kids as free labor, being self-employed, and having a Bandcamp page. Theta males will blame their personal failures on chance, but happily take all the credit when chance smiles in their favor. Number 9. Iota Males The term manlet encapsulates the iota male. While the iota male is smart, charismatic, and even as strong as his contemporaries, he will always pale in comparison to them due to being in a lower weight class. Iota male traits include saying size doesn't matter, lying about his height, squeaky voices, overcompensating, insecurity, knowing a martial art, going to the gym but being under 90 pounds. Iota males, tragically, will never know the joy of being taller than a woman, which of course is one of the most important things. Number 10. Kappa Males Kappa males largely exist outside of the hierarchy. They come in many forms, but their lives are defined by deriving joy from external forces. They love weed and Bitcoin and probably have a favorite band that they've seen in concert more than once. Kappa male traits include using Last.fm, going on literature or music boards online, making video essays, following bands on tour, graphic tees, and arguing about decriminalizing some or all drugs. Most Kappa males are afraid of cops. If you see a Kappa male, just leave it alone. It's as scared of you as you are of it. Number 11. Lambda Males You know that guy who made a house like full of dolphins to try to be able to talk to them? Or the guy who locked mice in a big cage and let them just fight it out? Or the person who locked baby monkeys in with fake mothers made of wire and cloth? 
These are all Lambda males. Lambda males traits include being creepy, wide eyes, being in Boy Scouts, disregarding ethics in the name of science, causing resonance cascades, explaining what a Dyson Sphere is, and watching Star Trek. While off-putting and weird, Lambda males generally are the reason we have things like penicillin and condoms. Numbers 12 and 13, Mu and Nu males. Mu and Nu males are two male types that exist in tandem with one another. Unlike other male types, their testosterone distribution is uneven. They are candles who burn out quickly. Early in life, they are the hypervirile Mu males, but in their 30s evolve into the Nu male, a defeated husk of a male. Mu male traits include marrying their high school sweetheart and having like 10 kids, calling waitresses sweetie, grabbing their male friends and doing weird horseplay. Nu male traits include balding, talking about the good old days, having a scrapbook of high school football achievements, having some medical issue like diabetes or erectile dysfunction. Make sure to treat Mu males well, for soon their star will dim. Number 14, Z males. What's that smell? Where are you? At Comic-Con? At a Super Smash Bros. competitive event? You must be detecting the unique musk of the Z male. Z males eschew normal traditional hierarchies in favor of hierarchies they can actually rise in, namely esports, fantasy football, or niche media interests. Z male traits include owning an all access pass to an anime convention, doing live reactions to E3 trailers, knowing the names and button inputs of super moves, listening to podcasts about film, early onset arthritis wheezing, and being Discord moderators. Try not to ask Z-Males about their smell. They will engage you in an argument about why it's unhealthy to bathe daily. It's... it's not. Number 15. Omicron Males Most humans, not just men, have a gland in their brains called the Common Sense Hemisphere. This allows them to make sane judgments and understand the world. Omicron Males lack this, causing them to lack basic comprehension while still possessing high-functioning reasoning. Omicron male traits include believing the Earth is flat, worrying about George Soros, subscribing to the incels Reddit, formulating opinions about the Holocaust based on theories that involve aliens, watching the History Channel. Do not try to dissuade Omicron males. It's best to just leave them be. Number 16. Pi males. Pi males have an exceptional intelligence but lack traditional manly traits. They are very smart and quick and rise above other people despite being underestimated. This, in turn, makes them cruel and isolated, for some reason. Think of Walter from Breaking Bad or Rick from Rick and Morty. Pi male traits include being featured on the I Am Very Smart subreddit, lacking self awareness, idolizing Elon Musk, saying things like or psh, without irony, believing they can outsmart everyone around them, but never actually doing anything beyond getting a bachelor's degree in finance. Number 17. Row Males Row males are alpha males who, due to not realizing their genetic superiority, live in constant fear of their alpha status being revoked. They often pursue macho careers and carry firearms and have comprehensive knowledges about one or both of the world wars. Row male traits include being a cop, taking their guns to Walmart, watching the show Cops, having a bumper sticker featuring the Punisher, having a fallout shelter, bragging that they could survive in the woods indefinitely even though they live in the suburbs. While row males are loose cannons and generally dangerous, don't you worry. They usually find their way to the safest jobs of all, ones in law enforcement. Number 18. Sigma males. What need I say about sigma males that hasn't been said? They reject hierarchy in favor of pretending they're outside of the hierarchy, thereby legitimizing it by existing as its negation. Sigma male traits include being in high school, sitting alone in the cafeteria, living at home, saying the phrase, it's not a phase, mom, being a school shooter. 
Sigma males are possibly the rarest male type based on exhaustive research that I can't show you right now. Ask later, maybe then you can see it, but it definitely, definitely does exist. Number 19. Tau males. While Tau males are away in the military, Alpha and Sigma males fuck their wives. Instead of pursuing masculine endeavors like fucking women and intimidating other men, the Tau male prefers the company of other guys. No homo. Tau male traits include being in the Navy, being comfortable sleeping in the same bed with other men, being the first one to get nude in public showers, being good at long range but not close range combats, manscaping. They're not they're not gay though. They're not. They're straight. They just they they're just dudes who like hanging out with other dudes. There's nothing gay about that. So a dick goes into the butt sometimes. Is that so gay? Is that is that are we really calling every dick that goes into a butt gay? Shit happens, all right? Number 20. Upsilon males. This male type is aware of the extent that we live in a society. They can be found retweeting or resharing memes featuring the Grim Reaper or the Joker with some hard-to-read pointy font that points out some mundane contradiction or absurdity in society. Upsilon male traits include wearing long jackets, laughing sinisterly, relating to Sasuke Uchiha, owning Joker 2020 on Blu-ray, and having a weird hot leather couch. While irritating and off-putting, Upsilon males provide a key service to society. Probably. Number 21. Phi males. Phi males are sleek and elegant, usually slender and somewhat artistic. They have an eye for the aesthetic and live lives of solitude. Phi male traits include being artists, having a kofi, having a commission sheet that everyone retweets but no one actually uses to commission anything, having a third eye, being slippery. Phi males can shoot beams out of their eyes, so watch out. Number 22. Chi males. Chi males are wise and learned. Like kappa males, they do a lot of drugs, but instead of using them to supplement their mundane lives, chai males tap into their innate powers. Chai male traits include long beards, wizard paintings, being into D&D, having acid flashbacks, slipping into other dimensions and realms, knowing what we may not. Chi males shall guide us through the coming days. Be wary, be warned. Number 23. Psy males. Praise be to the Psy males. All hail their designs. Love to the Psy. Glory to the Psy. Let them lead us through temptation to salvation and beyond. Psy male traits include Praise be to the Psy males. Male testosterone, male boy, man chromosome, YX boy, man, manly, no homo, not gay, male type hierarchy. Love the Psy. Live a man's life. Go thine own way. Soon we will be on the day of reckoning. Praise be to Psy. Obey them. Number 24. Omega Males Omega Males are the only male type who can get pregnant. This has been Logic King 69 with all 24 male types. Comment down below what male type you are, and make sure to like, subscribe, and tickle my balls. Logic Man out.